guys, it's Donald Movies and welcome to the second battle of the Versus series. In this video, we will be discussing a potential battle between Khadgar and Gul'dan, which might even actually happen soon. So, with the information that we have, I will try to speculate a possible scenario. On one side, we have Khadgar, one of the most powerful mages on the world of Azeroth. He was the apprentice of Medivh the Guardian, and he even killed him once he realized that he was possessed by Sargeras. He is mostly known for closing the Dark Portal and saving the world of Azeroth. And now, on the outer world of Draenor, he is leading the expedition against the Iron Horde and the Burning Legion. Yes. I will build a new horde. I will fall into an unstoppable weapon. You will be the scourge of a hundred worlds. The might of a legion. On the other side, we have one of the most powerful warlocks and the brain behind the entire orcish invasion on Azeroth. Gul'dan tricked the Horde into drinking the demon blood and through manipulation he used them for his own search for power in the Tome of Sargeras where he finally met his end. Now, on the altered world of Draenor, he is the main representative of the Burning Legion for the Orcs and he is leading the Shadow Council. So, if Khadgar and Gul'dan faced off in a one-on-one -on -one duel, who would win? Khadgar was once a young apprentice of Medea that had to actually kill him when he and the Alliance figured out that he was the reason the Horde got to the world of Azeroth and that he was possessed by Sargeras. Now, before Medivh died, he cursed Khadgar, so at the age of 17, he looked like an old man. And at the current time, he is around 40 years old, although his appearance has either been fixed as an in-game mechanic or he managed to somehow counter the curse. But the reason why he is so well known and why he even has a statue in Stormwind is much greater. He went on an expedition to Draenor in order to close the Dark Portal and save the world of Azeroth from being affected by the destruction of Draenor. For that, he needed the Skull of Gul'dan which was in Deathwing's possession while he was on Draenor and yes, he managed to defeat Deathwing and it wasn't by raw power but by being smart as he started damaging Deathwing's metal plates with a simple spell that caused Deathwing the Destroyer to retreat. After the expedition, he was quite silent and we only saw him again in the Burning Crusade in the city of Shattered as he was stuck on the world of Outland after the destruction of the portal, but he only recently got the spotlight in World of Draenor where he is the main leader of another expedition to Draenor and now we can really see his true power. He is mysteriously wielding 80-ish the Staff of Medivh and he is just crushing rocks, destroying dams and using many spells that only a master of Arcane would be able to do. By many people, he is considered to be one of the strongest mortal mages alive that we know of, together with Jaina, while Ashara would be taking the first place. When it comes to battle, Khadgar is extremely smart and retreats when he needs to or faces opponents in like this fake battle just to test out their defenses, so he fights smart and does immense research of his opponents before facing them in combat. So we have a mage trained by the Guardian Medivh himself that closed off the Dark Portal arguably two times and he also managed to defeat Deathwing and many other foes that stood in his path, but how would he fare against the infamous warlock Gul'dan? Gul'dan was once a shaman of the Shadowmoon clan that took over the reins when Ner'zhul had figured out that he was being manipulated by Kill Jaden and the Burning Legion and Gul'dan manipulated the Horde into drinking the Demon Blood and he placed Blackhand as a puppet warchief to lead the Horde into Azeroth as he was promised immense power from the Tome of Sargera. Now Doomhammer had figured him out and after he woke up from the coma he was in after entering the mind of Medivh, he managed to save his life through his intelligence as he raised the first death knights that would later on serve the Horde. 
However, Doomhammer's trust was misplaced because when there was a crucial invasion of the Second War, Gul'dan took a part of the forces and he betrayed the Horde to go to the tomb of Sargeras, where he finally realized that he was just a puppet of the Burning Legion and he was torn apart by the demons. His skull was later on used for closing the Dark Portal and at some point it was even used by Illidan. On the alternate universe of Draenor, he is the main enemy together with the Burning Legion and he is plotting against the Iron Horde and our expedition. Gul'dan is considered to be the most powerful mortal warlock to have ever lived as we can just see that from the power of his dead skull, but the power that lies within him isn't just in the destructive power, but it's mostly with his intelligence. Now, he is a deceiver and a manipulator and very rarely do you see him entering direct combat with his opponents. He either manipulates others to fight for him or in the most cases he just retreats to better plan out a new attack and manipulate others to fight for him again. But that definitely does not mean that he isn't powerful himself as we can just see how easily he handles Gromash Hellscream who actually managed to kill Manrod two times in two different universes. So Gul'dan is definitely very powerful when it comes to combat although he kinda likes to keep a distance and use others to fight for him. So, my speculation for the end result in a battle between Khadgar and Gul'dan would be a tie. Now, I'm aware this kinda defeats the point of the entire Versus series, but it definitely is true because both Gul'dan and Khadgar are very powerful and one uses the powers of the Arcane while the other uses the powers of the Fell. But they still have the same intelligent approach when it comes to fighting, with the exception of Gul'dan being evil. So if it ever came to battle, either of them could die possibly and the smallest thing could turn the favor to the other side. But that is just my opinion and now this battle is actually possible and might even happen by the end of the expansion as we can even see that from the statue in the garrison and the entire legendary quest on the Now do leave your own views on who you think would win this battle and also leave your suggestions on what battle you would like to see next as I definitely plan on continuing this series and just improving the quality and doing new stuff so do leave your suggestions. Also, if you liked the video, don't forget to like and subscribe as it really helps out the channel and keeps all these videos going. And thanks a lot for taking time out of the day to watch this video and see you next time.